Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Ian. And this is Mike. And this is our bedroom. Before you go any further, <laughs> the reason we've got to film in here is we've had a bit of a problem, haven't we? <laughs> not in the bedroom. No, not in the bedroom, no. Problem in the studio. The thingy that holds the camera has Broken. died. Broken. So we can't prop the camera up anywhere. We can't do it in the kitchen because the washing machines and the dishwasher's on. Can't do it in the other room because Bentley's playing. So welcome to our bedroom. <laughs> yeah, you don't often see this bit. Um, so slide through the keyhole. Who lives in a house like this? Yeah, okay. okay. So what are we doing today? Today I have a great project. It is a device you've seen finished. It's a little flicker light. Oh. With the LED light in it. Right, okay. This is this is the one that you showed in a vlog. One. It was like a... Yeah. Like a candle flame inside a glass dome. It is. Right, so you showed that made up and finished. I did. But not how to make one. So today we're actually going to make one and I'll show you from start to finish. Excellent stuff, right. So let's go back into the, the studio then, turn on the overhead camera and then we'll run through all the little different components and stuff that you're going to need if you want to build something similar. Cool. So this looks like one of those cookery programmes where you've got all your ingredients laid out in front of you. So for this recipe, you you're, will going need, to need. you're going to need. So do you want to talk us through the, the bits and pieces that you've got and where they come from? I will, I will indeed. Plus that, plus what's on the table, there's also a piece of black card and a piece of mount board. Right, but okay. I can't put that on there because you won't see anything. <laughs> <coughs> so, right, so just talk around the table. Start then. at the us, beginning. Tell then. us what their original intended use okay, was. Okay, this is the glass dome. It's actually a tea light holder. So you put little tea lights in there. Right, so it's, it's an ornament. It's basically. an ornament, yeah. Right, and purchased from any inexpensive home decor. Yeah, place. this one was from the company called The Range in the UK, but you've got loads of places in the US. Yeah, which is lovely, because I like the fact that it's dimpled, it's got that um, brass kind of collar around the top, and there were three different colours in that pack, wasn't there? There was, yeah. You can get them from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think, as well, in the US. Or places like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But we're using it, instead of being that way up, we're using it that way up. So we're turning it upside we down. Are. So Excellent. Number okay, one. so what else? We have these two pieces. All right, so this is originally... It, they're curtains. They're eyelets for curtains. Okay. When you have, when you have uh, curtains that are on a, a pole, mm -hmm. the curtain sits there and it goes backwards and forwards on the pole. Yeah, so it, it's an, uh, a compression eyelet for yes. curtains. Yeah, it's it a is. fabric eyelet. I don't understand how they work because they're both the same size, but never mind. Anyway, that's those. Well, there's a big crimping machine, isn't oh, there? Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay. Then we have a wooden box. Uh -huh. It's a cheap white wooden box. From hey, this one came from the range, but you can get them just 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 plain wooden boxes. Yeah, and you've glued it together, haven't you? I've so glued it together. You've taken the hinges off. Yeah, that's where the hinges used to be, and you've actually glued it to make it a solid box. I have given it a quick cut of stain here because we need to varnish it as well. Could you leave the hinges on? You could if you wanted, yeah. But I put the switch on the back, so it really needs to come off because right, you can't okay. put the switch on. Top. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then we have the battery, nine volt battery. A okay, nine standard nine volt battery, which is also the type of ones that you put in smoke alarms. It is. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. One of my mini toggle switches from the website. Okay. It's a real, real switch. Mhm. Mm yeah. Which is a, and it's, it's you're using it. For its intended purpose. I am indeed. For a it's switch. a toggle switch. It is a toggle switch. <laughs> okay. Then we have a little dial. Okay, this is one of your faux dials. One of my faux dials, yeah. That's mm -hmm. to go on the front. Okay. Which you've shown how, how to, to make, make in the past. Hat. Yeah. And these little beauties. They're actually purse feet or so bag feet. Handbag feet. Handbag as feet. As we say in the UK. For those in the States, it's purse. a purse. Yes. And they're, they're going to be the, the feet for the little, little box. Yeah. See, in the UK, a purse is where you keep your money. It is, it is. Then we have the LED light. So this is the... Flickering. This is the flickering light. So and this is the electronic flame. Yeah, and then that's the that's the uh, holder that it sits in when it's... The connector, basically. Yeah. That's the, the connector, power connector, yeah. isn't connector, yeah. it? The power connector, yeah. Take those there, put those okay. on there. Obviously. And battery terminal. Yeah, box standard. Yep. Yeah. Two sizes of flat back pearls. Okay, which can be purchased from most craft shops. Yep, four mils and two mils. Okay. MGF pieces, a ring, mm -hmm. a square, and another ring. Yeah. 
So these are these specifically are you bespoke cut these or are these just from your collection of stuff you use for your, your steampunk greeblies? These are my steampunk greeblies, but I have I have them cut for a purpose and these happen to work for the purpose exactly how I want them to. Right, so you've lifted them from the shelf. And thought, oh they'd be alright for that. So you just your greeblies then? Yeah. So they yeah. haven't been purpose cut. So no. you so can that's... use you could use chipboard circles Gosh, or anything yeah. that would fit really. Yeah. Curtain rings. Yeah, indeed. Yes. And a bit of print. And finally, a piece of print. This is the print that's going to go on the sides when it's mounted onto right, some board. So this is going to be the decorative side. This is the decorative part, yeah. Right. Okay. And then glue wise. Glue wise, my go to glue, the 90 second down old eye instant. Which is epoxy. Yeah, two part epoxy mix, and of course. And of course, the go to, the, the standard. The glossy accents. Excellent stuff. So, what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to go away and just give this a quick couple of coats of varnish. It will take me about half an hour to an hour, but when you come back, it'll literally be the blink of an eye. The blink of an eye. Literally the blink of an eye. So, Excellent stuff. So, is that clear gloss varnish it is. or satin varnish? No, it's or... a clear high gloss varnish. It's a yacht varnish. Right, okay. But, and you're going to put it on with a brush? I'm going to brush it all on, yeah. Okay. So you can get spray varnishes as well. If you yeah, can. they're expensive for what they are. Yeah. Hokey dokey. So you'll get off and do that, then I'll go put the kettle on. Hokey dokey. So, I have given it two, be, two or three coats of varnish. A little bit of shine. A little bit of shine, yes. <laughs> I've also taken the liberty of cutting the square hole in the bottom. What's that for? That's so you can get the battery in and we can work on the inside. Oh, OK. okay. So, that's, so this box really is the battery housing. Then. Yes, it is, yeah. So we have our box. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely and shiny, shiny, sha-la-la-la. <laughs> I have the four panels. Yeah. What I'm going to do with the four panels is I'm going to stick them onto a bit of mount board. Right. There we are. It's black mount board that you would normally cut, put picture frames. I've, put, I've pulled it too small. This piece is fine. <laughs> you normally have mounts done for photographs with this board. It's quite heavy. It's a thousand micron. Yeah. So it's the mount board you put as a as a frame in a picture frame. Yes. Yeah. That, that thing. And I've got some of my sticky roll. I keep getting asked a lot a lot about the sticky roll. It's industrial stuff. Industrial sign writing stuff. We got a new roll delivered yesterday. Yeah. But it's it's not something we can sell ourselves. It's so expensive. Yeah. Um, the roll we've just bought is that was actually a hundred pounds. Hundred and six pound fifty. So it's but there's fifty meters on it and it's quite wide isn't it? Yeah, How wide was it? It's six hundred and ten millimeters by fifty millimeters long. So you're talking I don't even know what that is, about twenty inches. Oh it's four, it's two foot wide. Because six hundred millimeters is two foot. Well that's how wide it is. <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> I always like to go for metric, it always sounds bigger. Okay. I'm, I'm saying nothing. Good. I'm saying nothing. So I'm just going to trim these out. I can just hear the collective tut across the world. Uh, there we go. The reason I'm putting the, them onto the thick card is I want some kind of uh, decorative panels on the side. Yeah. I could stick them on directly with the double sided and just forget about the panels but it's all about detail and dimension. It is and that, that's it isn't it, it's about the dimension. So these will stand off the side of the box by yes. a couple of millimetres of about an eighth of an inch. So it gives it a little bit more. You see it's got yeah, thickness to thickness it. Thickness there yeah. There's a, I'm going to use the word, there's girth. I'm saying absolutely nothing at all for today. <laughs> there we go. I always run my nail back down, but be careful not to cut my fingers, so it just pushes the, the paper, cuts. paper back on. Paper cuts are the worst. Oh no, they, they, my scalpel, scalpel cuts are the worst. They you don't put, feel a scalpel cut, that's the no, thing. No, you don't. They go very deep and very quick. You don't necessarily feel it, but by crikey, it stings after. I went to the hospital years ago with my friend Lisa where we used to work mm. and she cut the finger up and looked like a sausage, yeah. she sliced right down it. And we went to the hospital and the nurse said to me, are you alright? Looking over me while I was on the floor. <laughs> Lisa's, look, Lisa's watching like, hey, this is cool. It's because you'd fainted. I'd fainted, yeah. <laughs> 
there's um, a proper word for it, isn't there? Proper soft. Name. No, 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 for somebody who's can't stand the sight of blood. There's a proper name for it. Is there? Yeah. Desanguination. Oh, that's when you lose all your blood. Exsanguination is when you've lost all your blood. Yeah. Usually by a vampire. Well, it wasn't on Midsummer Murders last well, night, wasn't it? And yeah, I suppose. That it's wasn't blood. That was soup. No, the one in the the one in the the, the um, circus where he got the swords went through him. Oh yes, exsanguination. Would you put that in the bin? I for will. Me? I will. Okay, so we've now got the panels. I'm going to use my go-to. De-stress. De-stressing. Which has been revitalised. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, did you do that yesterday? No, the other day. You were there watching. Oh, I did it. I showed you how to do it because I'm sick of doing it for him. Sorry, you are still sat there, aren't you? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just to give it a very slight vintage edge. Bit of, bit of wear and tear. Yeah, not too much wear and tear, because as you know, my machines are always shiny. And that's yeah. how I like it, as though they've just come out of the factory. But this could be just like a little bit of the, of the edge. It makes it look a bit lived in. Yes. Like my face. I'm saying nothing again. Lived in. So, let's, let's get back onto the task. So, we've got those two. Did you do all four? Three. No, I did all four sides on that one. I only saw you do three. Yeah, I cut all four sides, yeah. Get rid of that. Yes, please. I'm, I'm on bin duty again today. I did say I was going to make a coffee, didn't I, while Ian was doing the I made you one. Yeah, you did actually make it, you're right. We've had computer problems as well this morning. Huge computer problems. It's doing what morning. it wants. Exactly what it wants. But the problem with using computer programs that are web-based or internet-based yes. is that if you have um, any issues with your internet provider, like they're throttling you, like they are doing at the moment with because of the, the lockdown and stuff. Uh, the programs don't work properly. No. And they, they're really, really slow. And it's annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a little piece of card and I am going to put some sticky on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick it underneath the box to cover the underneath up. You can't just have the box as it is with a dreadful underneath. Oh, I see you mean where the hole is. Where the hole is, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. I think I've swallowed a cocktail brolly. Mm -hmm. like that. that will then just go on to there and I will cut that there. And keep that bit spare for Well, no, no that, I need that bit in a minute. Oh, there's, okay. a, there's a little flap to go on it. Of course it? there is. You have a little trap door to build. I do. So, lift the top off. Yes, yeah, so not only have we had computer problems as well, but I also bought a second battery for the camcorder. Didn't I? Yeah. I um, had issues with that this morning. Yeah. So, what are you doing? So, you're sticking well, down. Stick that down to there. Okay. Just making sure there's plenty around the edge. Just hold it up so they can see. There oh, yeah. you go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it down the edge. Just lightly. But in the middle where the hole is, you push hard and you will see. Oh, it creates like a little indent. Indent. Yeah, actually, I can see. Can you see? Yes, I think you can. Probably. So, just going to cut down the sides. One. Two. And you have put a fresh blade on your scalpel today, haven't you? I have. So, there we have the underneath. It's all nice and tidy. He says. There we go. And where the hole is, I can just about see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scalpel and put it into the hole and I'm going to, going to move it along. Oh, so you just gently push the knife across to push where, and then when it hits resistance, you know, you've hit the yeah, side of the box. Yeah, hit the side of the box, the side of the box, yeah. Clever. I mean, you're not going to see it anyway. No. Yeah, and again. But, you know, you've got that little bit of resistance. Oh, you so. see, see where we are? And then there, push your scalpel in, push down. And then you can see where you're going. Yeah. Clever. 
and that's that incredibly stripped. That will all cover up because there's a flap going on top of there. Yeah. You could get a little bit of black pen if you wanted and just, just do that little bit up. Or what I'll do is I'll just straighten it up. It's going to be a bit of a woof in a second. Oh, is there? Somebody's just dragged Somebody's itself just... out of bed. Oh, has he? Mm. There we are, that's better. There you go. There we are, a bit of a woof there. I told you there was going to be a bit of a woof. Okay, so that's those. I'll just go and see to them while you okay. carry on talking to the ladies and gents. Okay, now we're going to put the sides on. The reason you can't put the sides on before you put the base on is when you put the sides on and you try and cut, you can catch the bottom edge of the panel and you end up having to pull all the panels off and start again. So by just doing the panel, doing the base first, and then just putting the panels on second because there's no point in making work for yourself. That's one. This is my glossy accents, of course. Has he gone back to bed? He has gone back to bed. Bless him. Two. And so you won't see that white that's there because it's on the back. Three. Yeah, I swear to God, he's a, he's a duvet monster, that, that dog. He is. So just put that there. Okay, and then I'm going to put these on here. It's a bit equidistant in the middle of the panel. That's a good word. Equidistant. Yes. I'll just have a quick look to make sure that it's straight as it is. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Opposite side. So this is also going to cover up those little hinge holes that you've taken it out. It does. This is why you have to be careful what size you make the panels. If you make the panels too small, you the hinge holes don't cover. Yeah. And it looks a bit of a dog. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Yep. And three. Glossy accents is marvellous stuff. No, oh, it is. Three. Push it down. With it being on black card, it, it kind of grips fairly quickly anyway. It does, it? yes. Right, so that's the four panels on. I'm going to put a rubber band around that and leave it for five minutes. Okay. To let those to set. Mm -hmm. Have you got a rubber band? I have. Where's it? Downstairs. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's around the labels. On the postage labels. Our custom forms labels. Oh. So, I'll put that there. Round. And that's just going to hold them in place and so they don't slide. Well, that's basically going to stop it because when you buy these boxes, the boxes are very nice, but they're made to a price, obviously, in China. And or somewhere. Or somewhere. Uh, and they don't necessarily have straight sides. Yeah. So by doing this... I did notice that the ones, the last lot you got, actually did say turkey on them. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, so that's held on to there. What I'm going to do down now is I'm going to let that dry but I'm going to make a little thing. I'm going to drill four holes so we can pop the feet on, and the feet just stick on, going to the corners there. Fantastic. Okay. So that's what we're doing next. It is, and we're back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. Poor donkey. Poor donkey. Okay, so I've got my holes drilled. All oh, done. So basically, I'm just going to pop those through the holes. All right. So these are the purse feet. The purse feet or bag, handbag feet. Yeah, or... handbag feet. Yeah. Depending on where you are. Yeah, sorry, I need to twist it so I can. Because they have a, a split pin if you just demonstrate, Mike. Oh, I see, right. So it's like a brad. So they've got two. We used to be very careful about calling these arms and not legs. Because. No, don't go there, Mike, please. Oh. Yeah. There you go. So you have to. Can you see? Yeah. Split pin. So that's those two in. And then push through. Sometimes when they make them, they make them too tight, or they stick together, and you can't 
open the arms up and I've got it that's it I was pushing the wrong way so not necessarily three. fiddly but just open them a little bit before you yeah. push it through the hole makes it a bit easier doesn't it to make sure they're facing the right direction because if they face towards the back of the box you can't do it <laughs> obviously so they were open yeah which is what I've just done there we are with them being only 10 millimetres or half an inch from the side it's quite tight so we yeah. have the feet on so we have a nice, nice base a nice base there I'm leaving the I'm le going to leave the rubber bands on for now okay okay the next we need to do is we need to start thinking about a little light so at the, the top of the light rather so I have a little MDF ring mm -hmm. which I've painted with copper paint acrylic copper paint yeah. acrylic copper paint I'm going to then I'm going to glue those two together yeah. and then that has to be glued back. it's almost like a little chimney from an oil lamp oh ok see what I mean that's cute that. rather cute isn't it mm. so what I'll do is I will just mix a little bit of my magic glue yeah this is the two part epoxy two part epoxy I want a little bit because all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it on the back of this and then stick it onto there. Right. So I'll probably just put three drops so you, on. So you're sticking the two sections of the eyelet together? I am. Right. Yeah. Okay. Normally where the material would be between. Yeah. I'm off the edge there I think. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing exciting. It's just glue. So. Does, does that epoxy smell? Does it give off any fumes? A little bit. Yeah. But, but it's, not, it's not a bad thing. Oh no, it's not, it's not. It doesn't say you've got to wear a respirator or anything. Or have like the windows that. open. No, not in this weather. <laughs> Yes, it's started to rain out there again today. Yes, I'll just put some there. You can tell it's July, can't you? Yeah, it's raining. And there. So, a thoroughly and total typical British summer. Look it's there. raining. That drops onto there, and then that will just squeeze together. Squeeze together, and that will stick onto that. I know, I know it's stuck. I can feel it's a little, little bit, bit of a little bit of. A little bit of mo a little bit of uh, resistance, I think the word is. Resistance. There we go. So that's that one. And what we'll do next? Mm -hmm. Just pop a little bit of glossy accents on there. Yep. Why don't you use the two part epoxy on the back of that? Because the epoxy can get a bit a bit um, claggy. It, it goes into strings and you end up getting it everywhere. Okay. But this is it's a much cheaper alternative as well. Right. So if you use epoxy, two part epoxy at six pounds a tube. Yeah. It costs a lot of money, but with the glossy accents, it works much better. Right. So why don't you use the glossy accents on the the eyelet then? Because I need the volume. Right. To stick because the one Bulk. part one part is flat. Yeah. And one part is domed. Domed. So I need the it to form a cushion. Right. For it to stick to. Right. Well, this it doesn't need a cushion. I understand. You understand. Okay, so while that's drying there, come back to this. We have the ring to put on. I always use glossy accents for the MDF mm -hmm. because MDF is so light. You don't actually need a lot of glue to make it stick. Yeah. If it was a steel ring, I would probably put um, screws and stuff in it as well. Right. But it's not. So, we need to get that in the middle. So, just position it by eye. Position it by eye. <laughs> by eye. So, that's in the middle. Oops, there is it. That's in the middle there. You can feel it's got a little bit of slide to it still, so it's not gone off. It's just a little bit of wiggle room yeah. to get you centered. Then, this one, which doesn't need painting on the back. That is going to go in the middle. So we're going to need to do another bit of some more drilling then. We are in a little while, yeah. Right. Yeah, we need to drill. We need to drill a hole in that when it's dry. It will only take literally ten minutes to set. Fantastic. Um, while that's drying, yep. Just we've got a little bit of little bit of uh, glossy accents. It's just moved out the side. Bit of a tad, yeah. A bit of a tad, yeah. Nothing. Nothing untoward. You see, now that's in the middle. 
or it is now. There we are. So it doesn't matter if any squeezes out into the center of here. No, because that's going to go on there. Uh, you're not really going to see it. So you're not going to see it. No. That's just moved again because it's, it's not it's not set yet. There we go. It's perfect. Lovely. We'll put that over there for a minute. Mm -hmm. Is it lunchtime yet? No, not yet. Uh, no, I don't think it's nearly. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of epoxy on there. Right. Just three dots. You can see on the top it's got little raised nubbins. Three raised cool. nubbins. It is, isn't it? So the three raised nubbins, mm -hmm. see that's now set. Well, <laughs> All done. 90 seconds. Yeah. So the nubbin, because if you use glossy accents on it, it's too thin. The cushion isn't there again. Right, okay. Because the epoxy has more of a gelatinous viscosity there you go there's the word it's more viscosity so it stays it'll stay if you if you put it on it stays see there's a it has a it yeah. raises yeah so it's quite thick glossy access is like water thick water yeah it's more liquid yeah so whereas the, the epoxy resin is more of a gel yes yes it is yeah. exactly so I'll just put some on the nubbins there. One. We don't need a lot. Two. And also it goes completely transparent. So you haven't got any problems. If it squishes a little. If it squishes a little. So I get the top and then just put it onto there. And I'm just gonna do it. I can't tip it up to show you, but I'm actually just looking underneath now. You're not in the camera. I know but I can't. I'm trying to see. <laughs> I can't do it in the camera because it's it's got to be that's it. It has to be in the middle. Yeah, I understand. So when it sets, it's not going to be set off to one side. And I've just noticed because I'm a, I'm a bit picky like that. I've got a little bit of the glue that's yeah. that's, that's, that's run down. Not the picky. Side. It's attention to detail. Yes, it is. Isn't it, it is. Yeah. Just do that. You know, being a perfectionist isn't a bad thing. And then just a little bit. Would you just dip into my bathroom and get a cotton bud for me? I will. Thank you. A cute tip. Yes, please. As you can see, it's nice because it's now got the copper and the brass. See, that's what I mean. It's got to be in the middle. So it's just nearly, it's nearly gone off. So I just need the cotton. Thank you. They need to go back on the shopping list. I'm going to wet it and then I'm just going to pull it around the inside and all it's going to do is going to pull the glue and because I'm wetting it the epoxy will not stick to it so now you can't see where the glue was clever and it's now stuck so I'll just put that as there and then let the weight of it that will go into there like that. So what we'll do is put the weight of it to hold it down. Uh-huh. And we'll come back to that in a little while. And as Mike says, I think it's dinner time. Lunch time. Lunch time. So I will be back with you. What I'm gonna do while you're away, <laughs> I'm going to drill an eight millimeter hole in the middle for the little holder to sit in. And then I'll just put a little bit of epoxy resin and set it while you're yeah. away. And right, then... We'll do that when you come back. Yes. Yeah. So my tummy's rumbling, so we'll be back in a moment. Yes. <laughs> what, do you want to join in? Is that what it is? You're wanting to join in the fun today? Uh... Mm. <laughs> oh, look at that, aren't you? I know. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face. Right, Daddy and I have got to get on. Okay. Hmm. Well, after that little visit from Mr. Bentley, <laughs> who's gone back to bed now? He has now gone back to bed. It's, it's, it's all too much for him. It's all, yeah, it is. So, while you've been away, we've had some lunch, it was very nice. Yes, my tummy's still rumbly, tummy. gurgling. What I've done is I've drilled a hole there, and it is an 8mm hole, and there's another hole. A little hole, there. A little hole. Ask me why there's a little hole. Why is there another little hole there? So, if you put glue on there and you put that on there, It'll frost up? No. Condensation? No. It won't stick. Why? Because the air pressure will pop it off all the time. Ah, well that's a bit weird. You put a, a, a bead of glue on there and push it, you push it and it'll go back up in the air again. 
So instead of it sitting in flush, it'll do that. So that also, but also it does to stop it steaming up as well. Little bits of thermodynamics. I noticed that you've already put the. Um... Yes, I have. I've been in the garage, <laughs> in my workshop, and I've put the switch on. Drill two little holes for the. For the wire to go, wire through. To go through. Right. Okay. So you, you've done that. Yeah. So. Right. So, I've got my. Oh, rumbly tumbly. I did say. I think did I've say. eaten something that didn't agree with me. Like a, ho a horse. No. Right, so. It was ham. So it was pig. Pig. <laughs> so I'll just mix a bit of glue up. This is, again, it's a 90 second yeah. stuff. Or it may be in all those chocolate biscuits they had afterwards. I don't know. It wasn't all, you only had a couple. Oh, that's true. There we are. Just mix it well up. Okay. All I need to do is to pop some glue there. Just around the edges. Around the edges. So when it goes in the hole it'll pull it up to the top. It goes in there. And then you thread the cable through. Yeah, and that. Then all I do is turn it and it will pull the glue. All the way around. All the way around. Excellent stuff. Right there. Don't mean to hold that while it's setting. It's, it's only 90 seconds, isn't it? Oh, it might take a little bit longer than that. We will use a roll of kitchen roll. And slide the cable down the hole. hole in the kitchen roll and just put that there. Well, that's for an ingenious piece of kit then, isn't a it? A minute. Yeah. Hopefully the autofocus won't kick in, but... No, it's fine. <laughs> you won't see any of the glue when the globe goes on there. Yeah. Okay, so we've got... Actually, the camera's a little bit skew with today. It's not straight. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we need, to, for the underneath, we need to put on a little a little uh, trapdoor, as Mike calls it. Mm. So we have a little bit of the black paper that we didn't use. Yes, that was from earlier. That was from earlier. And here's one you could played earlier. And then I'm just going to stick it on that. I know one side of the card's black already, but... Yeah, let me just move that so you're, it's just out of reach. Because you're working in like a two millimetre square I always space, do, right? I'm used to work in the garage like that, I work on my knee. <laughs> I've got holes think, in on my trousers. Yeah, I think most crafters and, and makers and stuff end up working in like six square inches on the desk because yeah. everything else is just... Everything's everywhere. And I've got a sharpie here. All I'm going to do with the sharpie is just go down the edges. Oh, oh dear. No. Definitely eating something I didn't agree with me. One. Is it? It's almost like a... Like whatever I eat with bacon. No, no, no. The pen has got like a... Ridge in it. A ridge in the nib. I thought you were going to refer to my stomach then, making all those noises. No. Just going to say it's like what I ate wasn't quite dead yet. <laughs> so that's that one. This pen's rubbish today. Is it uh, an old one? Yeah. Yeah. I remember the time when you used to spend hours and hours painting the edges with black gesso. Yes, I did. Until we discovered the joys of Permanent Sharpie. marker pens. Sharpie pens, yes. Yeah, it's, it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. It takes a new one. No, it's an old one. But the edge is just the cardboard as normal. See, it's not. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's, it's almost it's almost not wanting to go on. Yeah. Oh, there we are. I think it did have a ridge in it. I think I must have used it for a lot of doing a lot of things and doing yeah. one way. Ah, there we are. We're better. That's better. So that's to go on the underneath to put the little trap door in it. Okay. We have our little... It's all stuck nicely now. Yeah, I've forgotten something. I have to come, I have to come back to you. What is it? I've forgotten the pickup tool for these. Okay. I don't so... think I can use my scalpel, can I? Oh, I can. But isn't that going to give them little dints in it? You won't see them. Ah. I was going to say, haven't I got a pick-up tool over there? No, you gave me yours. Ah, okay. One, two, three, just put four in here. There we go. So four little bits of glossy accents. 
and then one, two, trois, and if you're French, three, four, four. <laughs> there we are. That's just to give a little bit of detail on the top. Yeah. So I'll just put those away. I'm also going to put some slightly smaller ones on the on the the box itself. Are we? Are we dry? Yep. Just double check. I don't put my fingers on because if I do, the, it normally goes. Oh yeah, that's set. You normally get fingerprints in it. Yeah, and that looks awful. Okay, so I presume you finished with that piece of paper. Yes, thank you. Okay, my tummy's rumbling now. Okay, so I've got my battery terminal. My mm -hmm. red is the live and black is the neutral. I always switch on the live side. So the battery goes in at that side on the left. So when the switch is turned off, yeah, and turned on, it then puts the power through to the other side. Okay. So have you drilled your hole? Yeah. Oh, look at that! As easy as threading a needle. I think it's easier because it's slightly bigger. <laughs> Can't do needles. Don't do needles. They're just mm, difficult. Right, I've got my little screw, my little baby screwdriver. These are watchmakers. They are watchmakers they? tools. Or yeah. Repair tools. Watch repair tools. Yes. yes. They're not expensive. On the eBay. No, but they're very, very, very useful to have. Oh, very. Okay. So now we need to put the with this. With these LEDs, they don't have a black and a red, they have a white and a black. Right, so you put white to red. You put white to red, yeah. Like that. And of course with a switch, you interrupt the same colour. Yes. Because that's what turns it off and on. That's right. You don't wire red and black together. No, because you'll, you'll, you'll burn the battery out. Yeah. It will hurt anything. You're not going to hurt yourselves. No. It's just going to get very, very hot and it's going to smell. Now, it's just one of those common mistakes that people make. They try and put both sets of wires onto the switch, yeah. but actually it's an interrupter. It is. Between the same colour. Yeah, because if you put them all in, you're going to short the battery out all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll just push through that. And then you can put your cover back on. Yes. And we've got, we've got to put these two together now. So. Is that your natural wire stripper? Yeah, it is my teeth. <laughs> if you need DNA, it'll be all over the world on these. Right, okay, so the back ones go together, like that. My tummy's rumbling now. Oh, yes. Hmm. But you had a vegetarian lunch, didn't you? I did. No, I did. I had turkey. Oh, so you did. That's not vegetarian. Not vegetarian, is it? So put Smoked the, turkey. Put the top back on there. So we've got all the rings are on. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go down and solder this and then put some tape around it. Oh, okay. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll finish off. We've just got to decorate it then with all the gems and we can then fit the little chimney on top. Marvellous. So two shakes of a donkey's tail and okay. I'll be back. Poor donkey. Be tired out. Okay, so we're, we are all soldered and taped. Okay. What I'm going to do now is put the battery on uh, and then we'll put the, the the bottom flap on. Okay. So the battery goes on there like that. Onto your connectors. Your connectors. That just goes into, into there like that. And then there's the little flap. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Are you going to glue that down or are you going to oh, screw no, no. it down? If you glue it down you can't change the battery. Ah, of course. Now, it'll be, it'll, I shall screw it down. I brought some little screws in with me. And you're using a, a little awl. I am. And then there should be four screws. Yeah, little tiny, tiny screws. So where have you got those from? Just They actually come out, believe it or not, they actually come out the hinges that are on the boxes. There you go, don't throw them away because they will come in useful later. Well you try and buy screws this size on eBay and you don't know what size they are <laughs> and you don't know, I, I'm, I'm not very good with sizing and stuff so I usually take something into a shop, I want one of these please or I want two of these 
or in my case, can I have a hundred of these? <laughs> and but I'm not good at measuring, so I've got a little Phillips screwdriver, crosshead screwdriver. Again, just screw them in. So remember, don't throw the screws away from the hinges from your box. No, because if you do, you're going to have to find some hinges to finish it off with. And they are very difficult to get hold of. I've ordered hinges, uh, screws I thought were the right size, and you get them when they arrive, they're not. And there's no point sending them back to China or the Far East or Taiwan, wherever they come from, because it costs you more to send them back. Yeah. And you see it also looks we're doing that, it looks very tidy. It does. It looks, dare I say the word, professional. How okay. can Okay, so next we need to do is we need to decorate the sides of the box with the little the little rivets, flat back pearls. Four rivets. Four rivets. So, this tiny little, I've forgotten the tool again, tiny little <laughs> Is it downstairs or is it in the garage? It's in the garage. Oh, right. I would have offered to Oh, you'll it. never find it in there. But it's raining as well. Yeah, it is. So, one, two. The idea is that these, these, little, these little rivets or screws look like they hold the panels on the front. Yes. So... As well as being decorative, they also have a functional nature. Yeah, it's well, they're just nice looking as well, aren't they? So, did you get away then? Yes. One, two. Right. So you're going to do all three. four panels. I am. So we'll fast forward through this bit. Yes, and then we'll join you back in real time when right. you've done all four panels. Okay, dokie. There we go. And back in the room. And back into the room, yeah. So they're done. What I want to do as well, I need to glue onto the front of the um, box the little dial. Oh yes. So I've almost forgotten about that little I just need a little, a little bit of glue on there. Yeah. I just tip it backwards a little bit. What I like to do is when I'm putting these on, is I put them on and I twist them. Oh, that evenly distributes the glue? Yeah. So we should be in the middle as well. I think we are. <laughs> just leave that for a second or two. Mm -hmm. Just to. Oops, I don't want to knock the. Shouldn't do that really. Is that the. Um, the four of it? Yeah. Do you want me to hold it? Uh, yes, please. There you go. Thank you. I I'll just. Hover here. Okay, now that we get, we just need that to set for a moment or two, and then we're all complete. Um, I also want to. The little bulb itself has a white base. Okay. Not overly fond of the white base, so I'm going to use a bit of this. The slug tape. The slug tape, yeah. The slug tape is. Uh, is great. Mm. So that's the self-adhesive copper tape that you put round the top of plant pots. To stop slugs having lunch. That's right. Can be used for all manner of steampunk. Punkery. Yes. Basically, because when you look through, when you, let's put that way, when you look through the glass, you'll see the white. Mm. And it's, it's just not really yeah. vintage enough. So now when you see through the white, you will see well, hopefully, you'll copper, just you see there's yeah. a little glimpse of copper. Or you just see the light, haven't you? I right? just see that. Yes, that's very true. Okay, so let's have a look at that then. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, you see that's stuck now, look. That's Good. not going anywhere. Excellent. So, actually, the on. hard part's done now, really, isn't it? It's the wiring, if there is any kind of hard part. Here. Yeah. So then it's just, again, it's, oops, has it got a bubble? One. Two, three, 
Four. And of course these you can add five. as many on as you want. I'll do the eight. Oh, Six. Is that your pocket? It was my pocket, I apologise everyone, I thought I turned it off. I'm just waiting for some news about the, uh, the you know we do not do the Asylum, the steampunk, big well, steampunk show. I think we mentioned it in the vlog about there yeah. being, possibly being a two day event coming yes, up. Yes, it's called the Sanctuary and I'm just waiting to hear if I've got, if I'm lucky enough to get into trade. I suspect I will because nobody does what I do, nobody's as mad as me. Mm -hmm. And this is at a place called Kellam Hall near, near uh, Nottingham. In Newark. Newark, is it? That's it, oh, yeah. Near Newark in the UK. Um, it, it is, is it August Bank Holiday? It is, it's August Bank Holiday weekend. So that's going to be August the 29th and 30th? Or is it the 30th and 31st if you do the Monday? It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, so. Sunday, Monday. So it's the 29th, 30th and 31st of August then. Which, is, like I said, um, at Callum Hall at Newark. There we are. So we've got all the little rivets on now. Okay, so we've now we've got our bulb sorted. Mm -hmm. The bulb then just goes into the two little holes. Does like it matter that. which way around? No, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we get. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. It looks good. Without, it does look like real flame. Does doesn't, doesn't it? it? But when we put on so clever. our little cover like that, mm -hmm. the, the light just comes. Yeah, I think we'll need to show what it looks like side view. Yeah. Well, I'm just going. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, that was me again. I do apologise. It could be just a, That's a, reminder. a reminder that I haven't. Oh, it's my friend Trevor. Do you want to give it here? I'll uh, pop it on silent. There you go. It's on silent now. Okay, so we've now got all this piece. What I'm going to do is I need to stick that onto there. Mm -hmm. So before you do that, shall I shall I do a, a shot from a different angle? And you can sh we can actually do a picture in picture thing. Yeah. Right. So ready. One, two. There you go. Look at that. We'll do. We'll do some we'll, sort of shot in. Well, there. we'll do picture in picture, so you, you can see both shots at once. So but that's, in the dark. So on the main screen, you can see what it looks like from above, and this is what it looks like from the side in the picture in picture. Should I turn the lights off? Um, you can try. If you Excuse can me, while I'm just. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh that's a bit look better. at that. There you go. Look at the. Look at the. So on the main picture. The beautiful. Yeah, you get that lovely kind of effect on the, the side and then of course you've got your gauge on the front so it's a little night light if you want to just sit and chill on an evening or if you like to have a little bit of of light in your room without having a light on or candles because not i don't like candles myself yeah candles are a bit unsafe to be left to be sleeping with right so we should go back onto the main screen then yeah okay so i'll just turn that light back on and that one as well that please one as well. <coughs> There we go. So I'll just glue that onto there, and that project is finished. We'll do another little shot in a minute. Oh yeah, we'll do some more shots. It's a just nice got to dry. atmospheric shot in the in the kind of like dark yes. room with a yes. nice background on it, so you can yeah. get the full effect. Yeah. So that is my little project for today. Have you got to glue it on yet? I will glue it on when we finish it, <laughs> because I won't be able to touch it for ten minutes. This is true. This so, is true. ordinary box, little wooden box, little dial, some panels. Mm -hmm. A tea light holder, some MDF, yep. curtain rings, switch, LED. Uh -huh. Can I just hold yeah. that to the side so yeah. you can see it going up and down? Yeah. And it does look. And they are they're they're not the same. It's it's um, it must have a little chip in it because they random. don't. Do, yeah, random. Yeah. It's totally random. If you fancy building one yourself, the little lights are on my website. Yes. But if you fancy one complete. I will be taking orders from tonight for these. There's one on the website. Oh, okay. And if you feel interested, have a look. Yes. Excellent. So that, is that internationally as well? It they... is internationally as well, yeah. Right, okay. So they're going to have to be really packed up. Well, I'm good at packing, as you know. <laughs> um, the 
it, we will find it in the section, I think it's for the home on my website. I think, I think it's so a section for the home. Is there? I think so. <laughs> Go and have a look quickly. Oh, can't we will chat while I have a look then? So that's a nice easy project. It's a great project. It's a great gift for someone as well. A um, couple of people have bought them, have bought them for children who like the, the flickery effect. But of course, no small children need to be left with candles. And you can leave it on all day long or all night long without having to worry about it burning your house down. But I think I have a, a section called... For the home. For the home. There you go. And it is actually on there. It the is flickering that, mood light you've called it. That's a, that, yeah, each one. Some of them are slightly different. with we'll slightly different glasses on them. But they're all really pretty. Yeah. Uh, and they're all faceted and have the uh, copper around them as well. Okay, so before we go, what we'll do is I'll insert some footage here of the finished flickering light um, with a little bit of better setting. An ambulance. Yes, and then just a couple of seconds with a little bit of music and then we'll be right back. Yeah. Cool. And there you have it. So that's what it looks like in the dark. <laughs> Super duper. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed watching Ian create that. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already. Why not? You can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. I will see you again next Tuesday. And we will see you back on the YouTube channel tomorrow for the vlog. Well. Bentley says, mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> as always. As always. Bye for now. Bye. Get out of the way. Typical. Ooh, warming the hands. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.